Okay, so it's the next day and uh, we gave it overnight to let them sit. Technically, we could have pulled the pots out that night, uh, but I figure the longer we wait, the better. But we're on kind of a short time frame here. So at this point, what I'll do is unearth this kiln. And keep in mind, this kiln is still very, very hot. So what I'll do is once I start removing dirt and I start getting into that pit structure, I'll let the pots sit in open air before I remove them from the kiln. I want to allow them to slowly cool as much as possible because if I pull them out right away, we risk the chance of micro cracks forming. So yeah, I'll just get to work. And like I said, I'll start removing small amounts of dirt. We got quite a bit to work through. Okay, so I got down into the kiln and you can see I'm just scraping the charcoal back nice and slow. And I'm starting to hit pottery, so I really want to be careful here. Okay, so here's the first one that's unearthed. This is a, a refire. Nice gray color. Yeah, and the black paint, it shows up. So we'll have to wash that off. They're just warm, they're not too hot, so that's good. I'll just remove the others here. Here's another bowl. Yeah, got another black carbon stain. Cool. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so once again, nice gray color. And you'll see that, here's a really good example. This, this pot is, uh, it's freshly made. So again, you know, I showed how to make these, uh, these, these style bowls on this video series. And this isn't a refire. So when you unearth these pots, you'll see that the paint actually has a white ashy layer on the top. You just brush that ash off and then the paint below it will be black. So we got our nice black on gray color. So here's my finished bowl after the reduction firing. I'm pretty happy with these results. Uh, it didn't come out as bright as I would like, um, but every pottery firing is different and there are a lot of variables involved. But overall, I'm pretty happy with, the, with uh, these results. Um, the paint came out a nice black, and uh, that black is just a carbon stain uh, from the organic paint. The organic paint actually burns off, but during the firing, it leaves this protective ash layer in the bowl. Um, and then underneath that ash layer is the paint. It burns off, leaves the carbon stain once you reduce the uh, pottery firing. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with this results. Uh, this is pretty common. It's kind of a uh, Sinawan style bowl or a uh, Flagstaff style bowl with these uh, sort of opposing zigzag lines, especially with this sort of uh, fanned, fanned out motif used quite heavily along the Mogollon rim. But yeah, th these are these results. Okay, so here are my results. You can see I have a nice black on gray color. I'm very happy with how this vessel turned out. Uh, some of my other pots did turn a bit dark uh, with the firing. They smudged on the interior, but once again, even with prehistoric Prescott culture examples, we do have variations. We have the black on orange, black on brown or tan, 
black on gray uh, that that's a bit darker and more smudged on the interior and everything is once again still classified as black on gray pottery. A perfect example is the vessel we took a look at in part one of this video series with Dr. Andy Christensen. You can clearly see uh, that it did smudge a bit more on the interior and it turned out quite dark. So once again, lots of variations uh, within the specific cultural uh, typology in pottery. So I've been actually using this vessel as a form pot. One of the vessels that I built with it is this one right here. We're getting ready to fire it this weekend. It's a bit larger, so I'm looking forward to see what we obtain uh, with the results. But yeah, I'm quite happy. I think everything turned out well for the majority of the part.